Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are going to learn how we can install and configure PostgreSQL on Windows. PostgreSQL, also known as Postgres, is a free and open source relational database management system. We can download from PostgreSQL.org. Simply Google PostgreSQL download and click on the PostgreSQL.org link. Here we are presented with installer for various OS platforms. I'll choose Windows and it will take me to Windows installer download page. For Postgres version 14 is the most recent one and it is available for 64-bit operating system platform. I'll move back up and click on the download installer link. On the download page, I'll select the latest version and download the Windows installer. I will let the download complete and once it is downloaded, we can simply double click the installer to initiate the installation process. We click next to proceed. I'll accept the default installation directory and click on next. I'll leave the default selection for the components and hit next. On this screen, it prompts us to set a password for the super user. Make sure to set a strong password and copy it, we'll need this later on. By default, our Postgres server runs on port 5432. So I'll leave it as default and click next. I'll accept the default locale and click next. Installer gives us the summary of the settings that'll be used. I'll hit next to begin the installation process. This will initiate the actual install and it will take some time. So I'll pause and come back once this process is done. Okay, the installation process is complete. I'll click finish. It brings up the Stack Builder installer to see if we want to install any additional tools. For now, I'll go ahead and click cancel to close the installer window. Our Postgres server is installed. Let's head to the menu and search for Postgres. I have Postgres SQL 14 folder and I'll go ahead and launch the PG admin. This is the web interface to interact with the Postgres server. This allows us to manage our Postgres databases. Upon launch, this will ask for the password. Provided the password we set uh, during the installation process and click OK. We are connected to the server and uh, let's expand the server node. This will again prompt us for the password. I'll go ahead and supply the same super user password and click on OK. Now we see the database under our server. We expand the databases and explore the default Postgres database. We can go ahead and get a sample database from Postgres tutorial. So we are going to uh, head to the Postgres tutorial site and grab a sample database that we can use for our practice and learning. I'll scroll down and click on the download to download the sample DVD rental database. And once the download is complete, I'll go ahead and open the tar file and extract it to a folder on C drive. I'll head back to PG admin and right click on the databases and create a new database and name it DVD rental and click the save button to create this database. I'll expand this new database and right click on it and select the restore option. On the right of the file name option, I'll click the ellipses and in the dialog box, I'll navigate to the folder where I have extracted the database file. I'll select the DVD rental tar file and click on the select button. And then click the restore button to complete the database restore. We get a success message on the bottom right. I'll click right on the database and refresh it. Now we can expand the schema for this database. Under tables, we should see the tables for this database. And uh, here are all the tables. I'll right click on the first table and do a select from it. It will generate a select script uh, from this table in a query window. We can run this query by hitting the F5 on our keyboard or clicking the execute button from the UI ribbon. This will execute the query and we see the data in the output. Our Postgres server and database are up and running. You can go ahead and practice and explore. And in the next series of videos, we will cover the basics of SQL 
This is all for now. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.